Warning one and all, and welcome to another edition of the VH Sales Kettle Call Ballistic Healing Hour with your host and moderator, me, Grandpa Bell. Welcome one and all. Some of you via invitation were applicable. My two church mice, Peter and Paul, each and every day. Now six years and running, two audio shows daily, one entitled Workouts for Geriatrics, a.k.a. Soap Streakers. Good for all kids from 1 to 92. Everything about health and wellness there. Main cross promotions, predominantly about small businesses here in Maine. Also, main mentor moments in business and in life. Now in life, mostly fully retired. This is my YouTube channel, Bill Holt, 8792. Like us, share us, give us the thumbs up. More importantly, where you're comfortable in doing so, please subscribe. We do continue to grow one star seed at a time exponentially with your help by paying it forward. We thrive alive to survive together, yours, mine, and ours. I'm blessed to have global exposure on all of my shows, and you would hear my shows anywhere that you would hear any other show, audio-wise and video-wise. Again, this is my YouTube offering, and we're applicable for those of you that have that capability at Spotify. When I mitigate them out as videos, they're also offered in video form over at Spotify. going to segue right in today, and this We'll be here for probably 15, 25 minutes. I want to catch up on two things. The main cross-promotion, both as it pertains to introducing main made products. And I want to hold up one quickly. I just got my own personal replenishment. This is Maine Coast Sea Vegetables here in Maine. This is rockweed kelp powder. I made a career on this long ago, far away in the animal and human supplementation genre. My cats take this. I take this. I'm going to do a whole show on specifically rockweed powder, but sea vegetation a little bit later under the umbrella of Maine made products, highlighting Maine seacoast vegetables featuring rockweed powder. So I want to put that down. I wanted to squeeze that in quickly. I'll be talking more about that at an audio show later today. Also later today, at the time of this taping on November 27th at about 7.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, whenever you guys hear and see this, at 1 p.m. today will be the second taping of Tam Bayou proprietor here in Maine of multi-businesses to include the healing spa up in Brunswick, Maine, which we talked about before. This will be Tam and I's second monthly show. Right now we're calling it The Wellness Wisdom with Tam and Grandpa Bill. Grandpa Bill and Tam, it's our show. She's my host. I'm her host, co-host. It's our show on my platform. So our first inaugural monthly show, we did indeed talk about her energy almanac, my copy of, but the book overall, now when 2025 becomes next year in five weeks, this will be her, and is, her eighth edition of this energy almanac. She will be with me for 30 minutes, good Lord willing, today at 1 p.m. We'll probably segue in continuing with the energy almanac but within the 30 minutes possibly you know as much as we can keep it 15 minutes and 15 minutes maybe 15 minutes to the almanac and then i would love to have her stop to segue in as a woman woman entrepreneur in the state of maine she has several businesses to include the healing spa in the efforts of this energy almanac at the website choosebigchange.com. So what I want to do here quickly for the remainder of this time here, because when I get her for the 30 minutes, she's always busy. But this correlates with her monthly Astro Design podcast with Janet Hickox. 
which will also be recorded earlier today. So she has that podcast, my podcast, and I know she has an event tonight. And maybe we'll have her expand upon that when she gets here to do so at the 30 minutes. So quickly, what I thought I would do in the remainder of the time, do check out the archive shows with Tam and myself. I've done a few prelude shows, quite a few, <laughs> about this energy almanac. And I'm going to walk through it real quickly where I'm at with it. And we both have an affinity for Rumi, the poet. And right on the front cover, she quotes a poem by Rumi. Whatever lifts the corners of your mouth, trust that. Rumi. Okay, I've done this before. There's a little picture of Tam. If you don't know Tam, you will. Many of you do. This is in the inside front of her almanac book. And this is the synopsis to the reader of the book when you get your own copy from the creator, Tam, on the Energy Almanac. What I want to do here is I want to show you, and I talked about this in one of my archival shows in between Tam's appearance with me. I think I did this show a couple of weeks ago. And started to walk through how to use the almanac. I'm definitely a novice when it comes to astrology. This is a very user-friendly book. So I'm walking through the almanac with the remainder of 2024 as we speak. And I jumped right in the day that I got the book. And I started to walk through this. And there's a synopsis of how the planets play, the zodiac signs, the astrological houses and the aspects accordingly and then flipping the page this is what i talked about and we talked about tim and i last month the planets she's very gifted artistically in her repertoire of many blessings and she does little figurines pertinent to each planet in the tone and the mood and we talked about that in the archival show. I've gone in and started to do my mnemonics in one of my memory method techniques that I take in my bucket list. Those of you that join the shows, I do a lot of mnemonics. All of my shows are based on that. So I've started to go in and do my hand scratching. I'm not artistically blessed at all. I can maybe do a stick man in a line in circles. So, believe it or not, pointing, she has a great picture for the sun, of the sun, wearing shades. So what I did is I went in because Leo the lion and the sun, believe it or not, that's a picture of Leo the lion, and I did my figurine mnemonic for the sun, and I'm going to go through Venus, Saturn, Pluto, hers figurines for Venus, Saturn, the Moon, Mars, Uranus, Uranus, Mercury, Jupiter, and Neptune. We may revisit those again when she gets here to do so with me. We did do that in our last show, she and I. So continuing, the zodiac signs, I'm getting myself familiar with those. And I have a pretty good concept of those because I have many other astrologers within my entourage of guests on the show and in our overall communal family, those of you that come through. Welcome, one and all. So I also started to draw my version of the astrological houses. We may have Tam expand upon that when she gets here to do so. Then her energy sketching for 2025. I got into her last show with Janet Hickox, where she talked about there with Janet and held up her little figurines of the stop sign and the go sign, green and red or pink. I talked about in the last show. I've got a full set of markers, but green and pink for stop and go. 
So I want to synopsize this quickly because I'm going to do this at my audio show later. But I'm going to go through this book some more, and then I'm going to go and revisit the calendar that's in the book that I've done before and show you where I'm at on crossing off. I'll talk about it at my audio shows later. Quickly, I want to read the back of the book as you're hopefully still seeing it. Easy to apply astrology predictions for everyday life. 2025 is offering you a certain degree of closure as you draw in and employ the lessons learned in the previous eight years. Your own wisdom will be amplified with astrological transits that trigger intuitive leadership. You, the reader, will be on a journey of growth. Discover what the planets have in mind for 2025. The Energy Almanac is where Western astrology and human design weave together to bring you a beautifully illustrated and thoughtfully written month-by-month -month view of the year ahead, no matter what your personal sun sign is. Included are 52 weekly astrological, astrological predictions and numerological information along with a collection of carefully curated holistic resources which will support you in your journey through the year ahead. Learn the key theme for 2025 and how to apply it to your life. Use weekly bold letters. Do this and do not do that suggestions each and every week. She gives you to do and not to do. Organize each month accordingly to the planetary and moon cycles. Know what to expect week to week and the reasons why. Apply numerology to each month. Know each week's gift and shadow as outlined by human design principles. Understand which specific weeks hold huge opportunities. Support yourself with the proper gemstone, aromatherapy, and self-care suggestions for each month. Quick interjection. In this book, she gets into her, ha her help, her staff, and there's nice bios of each of them. They all have open invites to come to my show, come on my show. Hello, Sharon Little. If you're there out in the audience, she was on my show. We talked about her work at the Healing Spa and her own spa called Vibes. So continuing here, support yourself with the proper gemstone, aromatherapy, and self-care suggestions. She has people with expertise on her peripheral staff. And again, they all have to their own comfort zone with Tam together. You know, it would be fun to do whatever Tam decides. And those folks to their own discretion, but they have an open invite. Those would all be things for our future 30-minute joint sessions, perhaps. Read the Wisdom di Diaries and gain new understandings about age-old problems. Learn new rituals to support your spiritual growth. Enjoy beautifully illustrated, worthy of a frame, monthly overviews. This thoughtfully written collaboration guided by writer, illustrator, coach, and astrology, astrology junkie, Tam Veyu, is supported by conscientious collaborators, Janet Hickok. If you're not familiar with their great show, Janet and Tam at the Astro Design. That'll be a little bit later today, preluding before my show, somewhere around 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, I believe. I'll be listening in for, I believe, what will be my third listen in at their show. Jenna Hickok does the shadow work and astrology support. Christian, last name spelt R-Z-A-S-A. -A. I'm going to go with Razaza, is indeed a personal coach. Jane Redlon, spelt R-E-D-L-O-N, quantum energy healer. Atom Banks, gemstone enthusiast, and Stephanie Veyu, who is a certified aromatherapist, they all collectively, individually, again, to their discretion, comfort zone, are welcome here at any time. Energy Almanac. Choose BigChange.com. The Energy Almanac is my must-have book every year to help me focus on my internal compass and plan the months accordingly. That's a testimonial right here on the back cover from Julie Hansen, 
One war, I never thought I'd get so much out of the Energy Almanac. Energy is certainly the best descriptive of what is and what I'm looking to find. Sherry Burris. Body, mind, and soul and astrology. The Energy Almanac. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And may God bless and go right to my audio shows right now. I'll see you at all of the aforementioned shows. Those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving here in the States, travel safely, be safe, be happy. And I'll see you all at the shows a little bit later. Bye-bye for now. May God bless.